love learning how to harness our Newfoundlands. <laughs> if I had schnitzel, it would be so much more exciting. Uh, too much? <laughs> All right, then. Brilliant. Hey, so we're learning how to harness our dogs today. We'll be using the Siwash harness. Hey, this here is a dog. Dog, say hi. Hi. All right, then. First thing we're going to do is stand your dog. Flynn, stand. Hey, good boy. Flynn, stay. Then you're going to get the harness. Now, it's my understanding that this is the hardest thing for you at this point. It kind of looks like a jumble of spaghetti. The idea being that you can sort it all out. There's really three parts to the harness you need to worry about. The first part, your dog. The second part is the harness itself. Which is all this massive webbing right here. All the blue you've got then. And the third part then is the belly band. This is the part that goes around the dog's belly and uses the brakes on the cart. All right then. Basically the easiest way you stand to do this is to lift up your harness from the top. All right, so you're going to have the loop for the belly band at the top. Then you're going to have the bar from the top. And if you lift it up like that, it's in perfect position to put on the dog. All right? So if you take from where the chest goes, the prosternum, you grab that all like that, okay? Then you've got two holes. You've got the hole here, the hole where the legs go through. Obviously, the one that goes legs will go first. Then you do the other one after that, all right then? All right. So if you hold it up like that, we can simply slide it over the dog's head. The legs go through first. All right then. The chest goes through like that. Oh, almost like that. All right, perfect. Now, we're all done, right? Nah, not quite. <laughs> all right, it's a bit of a fitting game to make sure that it gets on there okay. We're gonna get the strap over. Dig out the leash. I have to apologize, it's a 16 month old puppy. He's a little fidgety. Or is that me that's fidgety? It's you. All right, then. Now, you just wanna gently get their legs through. An easy way to do that is to take the weight off the leg Ask them for their paw and lift up. Flynn, paw. Just like that, you slide it through, you put it down. Other side, if you're tall enough. Same thing, weight off, paw. They'll give you the paw and you put it back down. All right then. Now, most Newfoundlands have a big mane to worry about. So, you've got to tuck this back in and make sure that the strap is right on their chest. Well, their shoulder bones coming up from their chest in the prosternum. Oh, I'm just going to dig it out, make sure that all his coat is through and it's not an impedance to what he's doing. There, like that. It's still in the same position as when we started, all right, and we'll keep it that way. So now I'm going to take the back that I had before and just put it down behind him and make sure that everything's lining up like it should. All right then. Now, the third part, which is the belly band. The most important thing to remember about the belly band is that it goes underneath everything else. Underneath. So never put it on top of the straps around the bottom. It's always going underneath. All right then. So we'll tuck that in there like that. In the bottom like that. Now, I bring it all the way up to make sure that I can see all the straps and make sure that it's not on top of anything. Clip it in place. Give it a little snug like that. And then turn it around to make sure that you have it on backwards like I do. <laughs> loops are going up. I paid myself to do that, you know. Loops are going up. You want to make sure that the loops are going down. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> So we'll put it down on the other side, and then I'll show you how to get the cart on. All right. Now when you screw up that bad, I suppose you can just bring it around and do it the other way. Me, I was doing it backwards to myself, trying to show off for the camera. It's not working. So now I'm just going to do it on the other side, like that. Clip it in. Aye, look at that, the right place then, aren't they? Alright. 
Now, if everything's worked, should we? The next thing that they're going to ask you to do in a test is to back up your dog. All right? Remember, please, 16 month old puppy, not very good at backing. Uh, uh. Then back, 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 back. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Now, you've got to get the cart on the dog as well, and that's what's next. Then stay. Now you notice that the dog is just hanging out, not doing nothing. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Very good. And we're just going to put the shafts in. Listen to the dog belch. <laughs> put bumpers to put on. Gives us something to do when we're running along and play with the ball. That even it's really just for show. Makes it so I can see the shafts. So it doesn't get up under their leg. If I don't see the colours, then I know something's wrong. Alright then. Now, I'm going to take the back that we were looking at. I'm going to hook it up to the cart. Onto the loop like that. Alright. Now you've got two judges that are standing around you. They're mad dogging you, eyeballing you, saying nasty things about you. You and your dog, how ugly your dog is, what a crappy job you're doing. Alright, they're not. They're usually really nice. But they're standing around you, looming over. Now, if they ever ask you, are you sure you're ready for doing this? Are you really sure you're ready? You might want to look at your dog again, because they see something you don't and they're being nice to you. So take a look at it on your dog. Make sure that your harness is on top, coming down the sides, fitting straight, nothing's caught up. The belly band is under all the straps. Brakes are on, shafts are on the outside, and you should be ready to go. The last thing they're going to ask you to do is move your dog forward a little bit. That's what we'll do. Flynn, let's go. Flynn, stop. Very good. Good boy. All right, if you have any other questions, you can ask Melissa about them. Have a good day.